Today, we're taking the train from Kyoto to Osaka. Saw the little running man. I really wish I got his little keychain. This is our hotel. Surprisingly, it was owned by a Korean man who used to live in California. So like, what are the coincidence? This is probably one of the most spacious room our whole trip. We each got our own little corner. And then God knows why, but we were really craving Korean fried chicken. And we managed to find it. Didn't realize that so many Korean people lived in Osaka. And that there's so much Korean influences here. Chicken was so good. We got an assorted platter. There were a lot of unique flavors I've never Ever heard of this one i think has saffron on it then we did some strolling around and i was looking for some cds but i could not find any there's a lot of records though luckily it started to rain around dinner time and we decided on some yakitori this place was mad popping i was so surprised they even let us in also basically pitch black in there so i couldn't film anything then we did some shopping around the markets there are so many shops and stores here it's crazy look at how cute everything is everything is so adorable they have so many characters and figurines i can't even name all of these there are so many a lot of totoro stuff i think dinner was light so we had room for dessert and i will always ride for green tea bingsu also i don't know what's the difference but japanese and korean shaved ice are so different but they're both so so good this one also had soybean powder and red bean paste with it and i love pairing hot and cold things together so we got this sweet red bean soup with grilled mochi balls on top it was so divine and just like hopping back and forth from the cold bingsu to the warm soup was just immaculate these mochi balls are so hard to bite into but that just shows how chewy and fresh it is there's also whole chestnut in there i literally have a palate of an old man so like everything was just living up to my expectation back at the hotel we have to have a second dessert of convenience store items obviously can't miss out on the viral peeling grape gummies they do work but it's very sticky and is a lot of work taste wise very good though 10 out of 10 i also found a new flavor of pinot ice cream at the store so obviously i had to snatch that up i believe it's almond flavor based on the pictures also very good 10 out of 10 would get it again and again and again